Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video on the upgrades that I have here on this Emax. So first we have a Castle 2200 KV motor and a Castle Sandwinder 8-scale uh, ESC that takes up the 6S LiPo. As you can see, they're branded by Axial, the Axial Vanguard system, but it's actually a Castle system. Next we have some really nice NTG piggyback shocks. They're okay. They're better than the stock ones. They have, I'm pretty sure the rods are thicker than the stock ones so they don't bend as easily. Um, I have full RPM, full RPM A-arms, front and rear. We have RPM uh, shock towers, front and rear. You can't really see it, but we have RPM Rear diff, uh, not diff case, bulkhead, RPM rear bulkhead. We have NTG aluminum front bulkhead. Uh, RPM bumpers, the rear one's stock. Front one is RPM. Underneath, you know, we have an RPM skid that's broken. This one's in good condition, it's also RPM skid. You need if you were to buy this truck, I would recommend to buy aluminum skid plates right out the box. That will save a lot of issues when going for your first bash with this truck. This, this truck used to be the brushed dual Titan 550 motor, so just put a little bit of electrical tape over the other motor hole. And I'm only running a single motor. This thing is crazy on success. It pulls wheelie like it's nothing. Even on uh, 3S LiPo, it pulls a lot of wheelies. And I think that's about it for the upgrades. Oh, it has aluminum, uh, aluminum steering knuckles. The rears are still the stock plastic ones. Those have been okay. Stock drive shafts. That's about it. Of the stock 2056 servos by Traxxas. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching.